Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mod and today we are going to solve some exercise questions 1 to 16, exercise 3e of chapter 3, chapter name is playing with numbers of class 6 of composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog mathgrad.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSE, ICSE and other state board. Let's get started and solve some questions. And if you like this video then please click the like button. Today we will learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 16, exercise 3e of chapter 3. Chapter name is playing with numbers and topics are highest common factors, HCF by prime factorization method and HCF by continue, uh, continue division method. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 1. Use the prime factorization method to determine the highest common factor that is HCF. HCF is highest common factor of each of the following 12 and 18. First we find out the prime factorization of 12 and 18. 12 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. This is the prime factorization of 12. 2 and 3 both are prime numbers. Now prime factorization of 18 is 2 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 3. 2 multiplied with 3 is 6. 6 multiplied with 3 is 18. Both 2 and 3 are prime numbers. Now the prime factorization of 12 and 18 are found that 12 is 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 3 and 18 is 2 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 3. Now we have to find the highest common factor that is HCF of this 12 and 18. Now for find out the common factor. Common factor here in 12, 2 is here and here also 2 is. So 2 is the common factor and here 3 also 3 is the common factor between 12 and 18. So common factor of 12 and 18 is 2 multiplied with 3 that is 6. So this is the highest common factor of 12 and 18. So highest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6. 2 multiplied with 3 that is 6. So highest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6. Now question number second bit 22 34. We have to find the prime factor we have to find the HCF, highest common factor of 22 and 34 using the prime factorization method. First find out the prime, factor, uh, prime factorization of 22 and 34. 22 is 2 multiplied with 11 is 22. Both 2 and 11 are prime numbers. Now find out the prime, prime number. <coughs> Now find out the prime factorization of 34. 34 is 2 multiplied with 17. Here both 2 and 17 are prime numbers. Now find out the HCF, highest common factor of 22 and 34. Here first find out the common factors. Common factors between 22 and 34 is 2. Both have 2 is the common factor. So 22 between 22 and 34, 2 is the common factor. So highest common factor will be 2. Highest common factor of 22 and 34 is 2. So highest common factor of 22 and 34 using prime factorization method is 20, is 2. Now question number third B. 144 and 100. We have to find the highest common factor HCF of 144 and 100 using the prime factorization method. First find out the prime factorization of 144 and 100. 144. We have to divide 144 by 2. 2 7 ja 14 and 2 2 ja 4. Now 2 3 ja 6 12. 2 6 ja 12. Now 2, 2 18 is 36, 2 9 is 18, 
and 3 3 is a 9. Now 144 is 2 multiplied with 2, multiplied with 2, multiplied with 2, 3 multiplied with 3. Now find out the uh, prime factorization of 100. Now 100 is divided 100 by 2. 2 5 is a 10, 0, then 2 25 is a 50. Now 5. 5 5 is 25. Now 100. Prime factorization of 100 is 2 multiplied with 2. Multiplied with 5. Multiplied with 5. Now find out the uh, HCF. Highest common factor of 144 and 100. Between 144 and 100, 2. Both are 2 times 2, that is 4. 4 is the common factor and there is no common factor of 3 and 5. So, uh, between 144 and 104 is the common factor. So, highest common factor of 144 and 100 is 2 multiplied with 2 that is 4. So prime so highest common factor of 144 and 100 using the prime factorization method is 4. Now question number 4 to 8, 6, 10, 11 and 14. We have to find the highest common factor HCF of 6, 10, 11 and 14 using the prime factorization method. So first find out the prime factorization of 6, 10, 11 and 14. Prime factorization of 6 is 2 multiplied with 3. Prime factorization of 10 is 2 multiplied with 5. Prime factorization of 11 is 11 only. And prime factorization of 14 is 2 multiplied with 7. Here both 2, 3, 5, 11 and 7 are prime numbers. Now find out the highest common factor of these numbers. So in these numbers 6, 10, 11 and 14 there is no, there is no common factor in them. So 1 is So, 1 is the common factor. So, 1 is the common factor between 6, 10, 11. Between 6, 10, 11 and 14. 11 and 14. So, highest common factor is 1. So, highest common factor between 6, 10, 11 and 14 is 1. Now question number 50. 520 and 1430. We have to find the highest common factor HCF of 520 and 1430 using the prime factorization method. First find out the prime factorization of 520 and 1430. 520. Divide this 520 with prime number 2. Then 26. 26 2 ja 52. 260. Then divide by the prime number 2. 13. 2 ja 26. Then divide this number by 2. 26 ja 12. Then 25 ja 10. Then divide this with 3. 3, then 5. 5, 1, 5. 5, 3, 15, 13. Now, prime factorization of 520 is 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 5 multiplied with 13. Now, find out the prime factorization of 1430. 1430 is 27 ja 14 
Now this is the prime factorization of 1430. 1430 is 2 multiplied with 5 multiplied with 11 multiplied with 13. Now between 520 and 1430 and there is only 2. 2 is the common factor between 520 and 1430 and 5 also. 5 is also common factor between 520 and 1430 and 13 also. 13 is also common factor between these two numbers. So highest common factor is 2 multiplied with 5 multiplied with 13 and this is 130. So 130 is the highest common factor between 520 and 1430 using the prime factorization method. Now question number 6th bit. 54, 60, 72, 80. We have to find the highest common factor SCF of the number 54, 60, 72 and 80 using the prime factorization method. First find out the prime factorization of 54. 54 is 2 divided by 2, 27 and 3, 9, 3, 3. So 54 is 2, 3, 3, 3. Then find out prime factorization of 60. 2, 30 the 60, 2, 15, 3, 5. 60 is 2, 2, 3, 5. 72 is 2, 36, 2, 18, 2, 9, 3, 3. So 72 is 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. Now find out prime, uh, prime factorization of 80. 2, 40, 2, 20, 2, 10, 2, 5. So 80 is 2 multiplied by 2, 2, 2, then 5. Now what is the uh, common factor between 54, 60, 72 and 80? 2 is the common factor, 2, here also 2, 2. Now 3, here 1, 3, 1, 3, there is no 3. Five, five. So there is no other common factor, only 2 is the common factor. Fifty four is two three three sixty two thirty two fifteen five seventy two two
So here two is the common factor, and there is no other common factor. Three is there is no three common factor. Three is not common factor, and five is also not common factor. So the two is the only common factor between fifty four, sixty, seventy two, and eighty. So highest common factor of fifty four, sixty, seventy two, and eighty using the prime factorization method is two. subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you